What up fellas, like in the building, what's happening guys, welcome to the new episode of TLC and uh, guys we got a couple of issues that we have to solve in this uh, in this case, a new season, a new grind uh, and uh, yeah, new pairs and uh, this is gonna be actually a really interesting episode, so we got Mark or what is his name, Michael and uh, he's from the US, he's like 45 and then we got this young chick, Brazilian ass, you know what I'm saying, so and she's like 20 and what happened, like they got together, like we cannot blame them. She won the pack and he won the the P. You know what I'm saying. And in this situation, uh, the problem is that uh, she basically got his credit card and she was thinking that the visa is not going to work out and she bought a car in Brazil with his money. That, that's not nice, but anyway, let's have a look, fellas. The two of you discussed like finances and stuff like that. We haven't not not we haven't yet really talked a lot about <laughs> finances, <laughs> shared finances, and um, no. <laughs> but you gave her your credit card, so what the fuck did you expect? Like, did you expect that she's not gonna be using it? Why, bro, bro? <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you think we should spend fourteen thousand dollars on? What? I know you're mean sometimes. I mean? Yeah. About what? You know, credit cards and. Oh, oh shit, shit. By the way, before, uh, right before over here, they had a little argument because she wanted to buy this this elegant sofa and he didn't like it because the the sofa is costing like 14k. Like, what the fuck? Somebody gotta work for that money. Bro. I know you're mean sometimes. I mean? Yeah. About what? You know, credit cards and. You mean, motherfucker, I have to fuck your old dick and you're not even giving me that back, the dollars. What the fuck did I sign up for? Well, yeah, you know, I was a little upset about the spending on the car, you know. Oh, Roughly shit. a month oh, ago, oh, Juliana bought an automobile on my credit card. That is actually a, quite a gold digger move. I, I don't understand why does she have your credit card in the first place. Like, I think that... Even though he's saying that the, they didn't solve, they didn't sort the, the financial part, I think it's kind of obvious that uh, what is actually actually going on, that uh, yeah, he won the pussy and she won the bag. Because otherwise, what other reason is there for you to give you her, your credit card? I don't fucking get it. Happy to help her, of course, but why the f would you buy an automobile within weeks of when you're coming to America? They didn't know if we, the visa would work out. The process was so long. And like, was, can I say, it's stressful. Hold, 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 stop playing the victim over here. This is a typical victim card. We can see it over here, fellas. We have to analyze the situation. So, uh, you got this credit card. We got it right. And then, mm, you was not sure if your visa is going to get approved. I don't know. I don't know what are the conditions for this uh, for this type of shit, but anyway, and uh, so you were not sure if the visa gonna be approved. So what did you do uh, in this stressful situation? You went and buy a car. That's what you fucking did. Like what the? Just don't play a fucking victim. What the fuck is that? I don't know, fellas. I, I'm not fucking with this. Like this victimhood, I can, I can stay through this shit. And I I thought it never gonna happen, and I just hmm. bought a car. <laughs> But uh, oh, what is the logic behind this all? You thought that you're never gonna get a proof, so you went and buy a car with this money, even though you were not sure that you were going to be meeting after afterwards. Like, what, bro? This is a robbery. It was making my life a risk. Okay, okay. <laughs> it was really, really hard moment for me. I was thinking this visa didn't work before. Why is it gonna work now? So. So fuck it, let's just steal his money. Like, obviously it's her fault. Well, like, we cannot, we cannot really deny that. But also on the other side, we also have to understand that uh, this motherfucker, this simp just gave her his credit card. And uh, there's nobody else to blame. Fellas, like, like why the, why the fuck would you give her your credit card if you are not expecting her to spend some money? Maybe he was expecting that she's gonna just buy some, I don't know, some some silicon boobies or some shit like that you know in that case he would like that but uh, the, the case he can't fuck a car so what's the purpose wasn't a lot of money for michael but for me 
any money coming is help me, you know. So you needed the car. And now you're not even using the car. So what's the fucking point? You know, I promised I was going to help no matter what, you know, when, when we started dating. and But it just, it, it looked, looked, uh, looked bad. What's the car doing now? Just probably sitting there at your house, right? Guys, simp. Simp alert, bro. Beta cack, beta mail. So you just started talking to the woman online from another country. And the first thing you say, I'm gonna help no matter what. Who the fuck says that? Bro, you got two kids, like spend some money on your on, on, on your kids. Like what are you doing here? Ah, guys, just masturbate or some buy some lotion or some shit like that. No, um, uh, is this thing for a cab? What? For a cab? Yeah. Who's using My sister cab? uses it. She's driving it as a cab to make money? Mm hmm I'm so stupid. We're done. We're done. Moving on. She's just playing the victim. Oh, I'm so stupid. Like, she's playing. It's not my fault. Like, I spent all this cash. I'm so... Bro, she knew what she was doing. And then the visa got approved. And then she went to the US. And now she's chilling. But the situation is kind of fucked up. I'm blaming both parties. Like, what can I say? Both are stupid, in my opinion. <laughs> but uh, that's how it is. Guys, Michael... Uh, you have to learn from your mistakes. And uh, this chick has to understand that... If the credit card doesn't belong belong to you, maybe the other person has some right to say like what you are fucking able to buy. You know, so as I'm saying, some silicone implants. Maybe he wouldn't mind that much. You know, it would benefit both parties, bigger titties for him and her in the bedroom. You know, might be might be working out. But in the situation, you know, nobody is fucking with this. And uh, she's not even using the car. He paid for the car of his sister. Like what the fuck, you know? Maybe I'm not seeing what the reality was, but um, it was hurtful. I felt that mm -hmm. she was making a choice where she was deciding she didn't have enough faith and confidence in our relationship at the time. And she wasn't so sure this was ever gonna happen. She was not sure if it's gonna happen, if it's gonna work out, and that's why she fucking left. She went to the Subaru store and she bought the new Swift model RX with the fucking 300 horsepower engine. Sure, sure. Guys, I'm not fucking with this video. Fuck this video. Like, honestly, this is, this is not what I like. Uh, if there's gonna be a relationship, we have to, we have to put the trust and the respect on the first place and if we can we can see so from now on he's not gonna be trusting her and uh, she betrayed his trust in the first place there is no mutual respect at all the whole thing that is going on is that she wanted green card and he wanted brazilian pussy you know but uh, who am i to judge who am i to say what is right and what is wrong i'm just fucking nobody Plus, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one. Bye.